Hello and welcome to the third Tribal Council for Surviving 1984 Director's Cut. I am here with the Davis Tribe. Say hello, guys. Hi. Hi. All right, so Constance, would you like to uh, give us a funky fresh recap of what the challenge was? So for this challenge, I'm trying to remember it a little bit. Um, so for this challenge, basically each of us were assigned a puzzle or a slider of some sort and we had to essentially complete those puzzles um, that we were given um, in a certain amount of time, um, which each puzzle was given to us um, based upon the agreement of what everybody thought was best for themselves. Awesome. So Hunter, in the past three rounds, we have seen this tribe come to tribal two times. Do you think that, or what does this tribe necessarily need to work on in order to not have that happen again uh i mean i guess it's just trying to compete as best as you can in the challenge um i mean we haven't competed bad every time that we've lost but like it's been close um but it's just like going the extra mile and making sure we're not overlooking rules of the challenge or whatever the case might be but i think it's just showing up to compete Livingston, the first tribal council that you guys came to, we saw votes and accusations come your way. Do you think that that could carry over to tonight and you could be in trouble tonight as well? I mean, of course, I've been <clears throat> very open with everyone all day that I don't feel safe. I feel very worried. I feel like once your name comes up once, it is so easy to, you know, for people to write your name down again. So... I am very worried tonight. I hope things don't go that way. Uh, Y'all heard my plea last time, so I won't, uh, you know, force you to listen through it again. So I hope I'm here tomorrow, but who knows. Brian, so far in the season, we've seen two very interesting tribal councils. What do you base your vote on now that we are starting to get into the game a little bit further? I think there's a bunch of different factors when it comes to determining how your vote, like loyalty, how good someone is at competitions, um, who's telling you the truth, who's lying, who's keeping you in the know, who's not really talking to you. I think like it's, I think everyone's vote is based off of a bunch of different factors all combined. Awesome. So Tim, at the first tribal council you guys attended, your face and reaction at the end kind of gave the indication that you weren't involved in the the group of votes towards Kevin. Um, do you think that that could result in you going home tonight? Or do you feel like that in a way could get you more connected with some people on your tribe? Um, yeah, it could, it could get me um, voted out because I'm the easy vote and some of these tribe mates have no balls or guts to do anything. So if they want to do the easy vote, then let them do the easy vote. And then they'll be the easy vote and they can come, go home right after me. All right, so Jake, we have seen some accusations of past relationships affecting the result of the vote. Do you think that we could see the same thing happening tonight? Do you think the person going home tonight is because of those past relationships? Or where do you think the vote was going? You know, I definitely think that was the driving force behind tribal council number one. Um, for number two, you know, the trio that we all kind of, you know, went for last time, like that's broken up. So. It's just a question of do we need to still go after them or is there a bigger fish to fry or, you know, in this game, anything can happen. Who knows? All right. So, Ben, are we expecting a straightforward vote tonight or is a blind side in the works? Are we expecting something unexpected? Well, I mean, you always expect the unexpected, but like, I mean, today was a very quiet day for me, at least. I don't know if it was the same for everybody else. Um, I mean, I really wasn't told any, like a name 
until pretty close to the end. And I think it actually, like, as far as conversations I've had with other people, it's been the same. It's just like, nobody wants to throw out a name. Like, so I, I really feel like, um, it could be anything tonight. Like I, I'm nervous myself. Do you think that everybody on this tribe is putting an effort to contain the tribe unity or do you feel like some people are starting to fall behind socially, challenge-wise? How how strong is this tribe unity? Um, and I mean, in terms of challenges, I feel like you know everyone everyone always gives it their best. Um, but socially and strategically, you know, like that last boat showed, you know, we're not all unified. You know, everyone's trying to push their own agenda, and it kind of just what what agenda most benefits you. Um, is what it comes down to. All right. So with that, we will get right into the vote. Does anybody else have anything to say before we start the voting process? All right. If everybody can send your final decision to your confessional chat, I will get the votes written down and I will be back. I want to give a shout out to Pietro. He said he'd kill me if I didn't this time. So shout out to you in my production chat. Shout out to the Benjamin fan club, which is like three people. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to the Constance club, which is like zero. <laughs> shout out to uh, <laughs> Billy Vance and Early Boot from last season that is cheering for my demise in my production chat <laughs> so that he so that he can say i may have outplaced him in trinity but he outplaced me here <laughs> shout out to y'all put people y'all put people in your production <laughs> chats mm -hmm. i didn't yes. put anyone in mine <laughs> i have two people in mine i don't have friends i mean people just kind of asked so i i, I did yeah. Yeah, no one asked me. I had someone, I had Billy, and then I'll, I I'll go in. I'll go in your chat. I wonder if Blake's alive. Miss them. Well, there's Nicole. Hey, sorry guys. Hello. We just revealed our returning. It's been a mess. Blake went to record votes literally 30 minutes ago. <laughs> All what? right. With that being said, I do okay. have the votes. Oh, there he is. It felt really long. <laughs> If ever if anybody has a hidden mini idol and you want to play it, now would be the time to do so. Oh. All right. Once the votes are read, the decision is final. Person voted out will be asked to leave the Zoom call immediately. First vote. Tim. Tim. It's two votes, Tim. 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 It's four votes, Tim. No votes, nobody, anybody else. Jake. It's four votes, Tim. One vote, Jake. 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 It's four votes, Tim. Three votes, Jake. One vote left. Two votes left. Two, Two votes. votes. <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Like, <laughs> <Play the> out. <laughs> 
and the second person voted or the third person voted out of surviving 1984 director's cut jim jim do you have any <sighs> words i give him my own uh you made it really obvious. If I had any idol, I would have played it. I had no idol, though. Tim, uh, I, I just want to say something before you go, though. Don't don't tell Constance that I laugh behind his back because that's not true. And I don't I didn't. I actually all. didn't say that. I actually didn't say that. So Constance lied to you. So, and I'm out of the game. So there's no reason for me to lie. I didn't tell Constance that. So you can vote him out next because he lied straight to you. I He's like out. Constance. Well, he lied to you because I didn't do that. I may have thrown Brian under the bus. But I didn't throw you under the bus. Love you, Brian. All right, Tim, thank you for playing. All right, with the third person out of this game, the next immunity challenge is right around the corner. You guys will be getting that soon. Bye, guys.